Hello, everyone. Welcome to, I almost said welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Thursday. We filmed these on Wednesday. It's it is Wednesday, Wednesday right now for us. For but you, it's tomorrow. Happy Thursday to everyone. Like we had said, we went to the bins on Monday, which is the haul that you guys saw on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And then we said we're going to go to the bins on Wednesday, which we have accomplished today. Yeah. Unfortunately, we cannot give you the thumbnail we were hoping for of like Gucci in the bins or Dior in the bins. I did not find anything like Primo. No, but I did find a lot of good things. Definitely, still. yeah, definitely still really good stuff. So since, like I said, I like work out close to the mm -hmm. bins, close in a way. Brian and I meet there, and I usually get there like a little bit earlier, only by like it's 10 minutes. I was there for two shoe switches, kind of, and Ryan was there for one, and <laughs> yet Ryan got no shoes, and I got one pair. The one that I was there for was just bad. It was a lot of suitcases, it was a lot of really just dirty sandals I'm super excited about kind that. of strange because like all of the bins i would say even the shoe bins were quite full today they were like kind of low on clothing for the past couple times that we went and today that must have not been the issue but it wasn't like it wasn't very good full of crazy good <laughs> things like the shoes there was plenty of shoes it was just not it was a lot of like i saw a lot of time and true which is like yeah Walmart. And the thing is i think our bins the way that they do it is like they get pallets in from each separate store mm -hmm. and so you can kind of tell when the pallets are from a store in an area that's like doesn't have as much nice finds versus like when the pallet is from yeah. a place that has a lot of really good finds like last time the haul that you saw on tuesday Ryan actually saw an item that oh, he, yeah. that he mm -hmm. had seen in like our bougiest Goodwill. It was in one of the really rich people Goodwills and it still has. So here, if it's like a name brand or if it has like a new tag on it, they'll put a little black tag on it and put it up in the front and they just mark them crazy high. And this one got, it was a free people like maxi dress. It was marked at like 35 or $40. And I was like, oh, no, like I literally saw it come out of the back on the new rack and then I found it in the bin two days ago. So it's great. Yeah, that's kinda I guess that's what the luck is based off of. Is what goodwill the things come from. Yes. So I don't really have too much for like announcements because it's that's Thursday. So the only video I can say we have coming up is what's sold Saturday on Saturday, uh, of course, as usual. That'd be great. And I was almost gonna say how my sales have been this week, but you'll have to wait till Saturday because <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Why <laughs> um, But yeah, I guess we'll just jump into the stuff. So like I said, I have one pair of shoes. I have like one thing. And then I'll start my clothes and then Ryan will do his clothes. Mm -hmm. I unfortunately didn't find much for the real real this time, which kind of sucks. But on Tuesday, I found a ton. I found one thing for the real real. And when I Googled the brand, the only thing that came up was it was $25. Yeah. Oh, but there are, so we'll there's at least one new really good bolo in here. Oh. Might be more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <gasps> I have one. But it's a swimsuit. I have one too. Oh yeah, so bolos, we'll bolos coming your way. The first thing that's a thing that I bought was this amazing, Beautiful. amazing velvet tiger pillow with tassels. Ooh. It has no tags, but I know sure enough that this is from Opal House. I it's had so seen cute. this on the Target app like advertised in like one of the little like rooms they set up and I wanted it so bad, but this it's is so literally, cute. this was like $40 or the, maybe like 45. The Opal House stuff is amazing. And it's definitely like a poor man's anthropology. And the prices reflect that because regular anthropology is crazy expensive. And this is still pretty it's, expensive for like- I was gonna say, it's definitely not <laughs> it's poor not man's. Like it's cheap. just cheaper, I it's guess. It's poor man compared to the $300 anthropology we would charge for this book. Yes, but I wanted it so bad. And of course I was not gonna spend that. And so today I found it. And so now I have it. I'm I'm not selling this. I actually found like four or five Opal House pillows, mm -hmm. all with the tags cut off, but I know because I've seen them. <laughs> so we go that, for a lot. <laughs> that I'm gonna bring to the consignment store. So I actually love to pick up clean, super clean decorative pillows for the consignment store. Sometimes even like throw blankets. So if you have a consignment store near you that takes like stuff like or furniture. like furniture, mm -hmm. definitely don't rule that out. Ask them if they take pillows. Yes. On to the shoe. It is this shoe, and it is just a classic black pump, and it is Sam Edelman, and this is my absolute favorite Sam Edelman shoe to sell, and it is the Hazel. Ugh, I won't be able to show you, shoe. but it just says right under, like, the size in here, Hazel. For some reason, these do so good. Pumps, otherwise, don't do that great for me, but the yes. Hazels always do quite good. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of bloggers wear them and stuff. The only wear is this one has kind of, like, it's been scraped, 
but I'm actually just gonna kind of like re-dye that so it blends in. Obviously, it'll yeah. still have a little indent, but it'll be fine. Yeah, and these tell. are size seven, which is Debbie's size, but she does not wear pumps. Ever. The only thing Debbie wears is shooties. Yes. And sneakers. <laughs> so onto the clothes. My oh, first item. Yeah, I'm not. This might go to Debbie unless it's like some kind of rare collab. So this is a Love Your Melon. We always pick them up for Debbie. We see them a lot. They're from Minnesota, so we which see I them continue. You, you get probably two of them yeah. every time you get a There's one. a ton. I don't know if these are like bunny ears. Is it Ariana Grande? But, oh, maybe. That would be kind of weird. I don't know, but I have to figure out what they me what it is. Usually the collabs still say Love Your Melon. This doesn't, but the tag on the inside says it. So I just got to look that up. They used to do a lot better. And like, I would actually sell them myself. Hmm. But like, to me, they just don't do that good anymore. Mm -hmm. Next up, Ryan threw me this. This is a really cute, it honestly might not be vintage. It's probably just a touristy t-shirt, but fun, it though. is the Devil's Tower, which I thought was in South Dakota, but actually it says Wyoming. From the Black Hills of Wyoming. Yeah, but I thought this was really cool with the colors and stuff. And Ryan shockingly was gonna skip it. So I was gonna keep it for myself. I was like, yeah, which Ryan has a lot of t-shirts. Like the colors. Then we have a mini Bowden oh, item. Cute. This is really cute. It has like roses and flowers on it. Mini Bowden is like the only kids brand that I sell myself. If I found Mini Rodini, I would sell that for sure, but I have never found that. I like Hannah Anderson. Hannah Anderson. Hannah Anderson. Hannah Anderson. This is four to five years. Really cute. You. And I will be listing that. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So even while filming this, my stuff from Tuesday is not listed yet. But... By the time that you guys see this, this stuff and Tuesday stuff definitely should be listed. Then I have a Kate Spade. It's an Easter cardigan. I think I've actually had this before. It's just like a pearl, faux pearl button cardigan. Oh, it's cute. It's like a cashmere blend. Yeah, it has a little bow detail. Yeah, I've, I've actually had this quite a while ago. It's an extra small. Cute. And I'll do one more and then Ryan can take a turn. So this was like my first clothing find. And it is Athleta. Adela. And it's XL, which Athleta is kind of one of those brands where it seems like you find like smaller sizes a lot so that's pretty good mm -hmm. so this is like a super nice like knit kind of like sweater material jacket and it's like really heavy duty like this probably cost me like a couple bucks four dollars in the bins but i just thought it was super super nice and so I was not going to skip it. It also isn't like really pilly and doesn't no, really have... No, it looks like it's in really good condition. It doesn't really have much like fuzzies or anything. So I was like, sure, not going to pass that up. Okay, first thing for me, I was super excited to find this. I think it's so fun. It's a denim tactical vest. And I know that these are super popular with like the kids and there's just nothing on the back. But it has all these pockets and all these snaps and all these little accoutrements. It's vintage um, Raffaella. Raffaella. Raffaella medium. I didn't know that they would make anything like this at all, but I think this is fun. Yeah. I think somebody's gonna buy it. I feel like if I had to put money on it, this is gonna sell on eBay and or Depop. You could wear it to go see Jurassic Park when it comes out, because it gives me Jurassic oh my God, Park you vibes. Could. Speaking of vintage denim, these I think are so fun. It's a pair of vintage Union Bay shorts, but they have the spell out on the back, and it's just a good pair of like high waisted like biker shorts. This is the thing at like Urban Outfitters right now are these like high waisted like longer inseam like mom shorts. And I just think they're super fun with the little thing on the back. If the wash was more similar, it could be some kind of funky denim outfit. But like the wash is a little no, too they're a little light. And then I was able to find one Lululemon sweater, and thankfully, by the grace of God, this still has the pull tag in it. It's a size four, nice little gray sweater and then it has this really fun like meshy detail on the back i i literally I never had... find lululemon with the size tag in it no i think all. i've had that before it looks kind of familiar yeah then this is one of the first things i found the elastic in it is kind of funky so i might have to like give it to my mom because she knows how to fix that relatively easily the brand is eloise which is anthropology just that little swirly E. These are size extra small, but I love this print. Like, I think this is so fun. And they have this like little ruched detail on the side with a little lace and the, the little ladder. like ladder lace on yeah. it. Yeah. And it's just these really pretty like blue birds. It gives me Dior vibes. I was just gonna say, it looks like, like the new Dior print. And I hunted and hunted and hunted for the top and I couldn't find it. So I just had the pants. Then I found, well, Jack gave this to me. And I think I, I might solicit myself just because of the style. It's Me To We, which is just PacSun. But it's this really cute little like spandexy. Everybody wears these. These like really stretchy little tops. But it has these little flowers on it. It's super cute. And this one's a size small. So that's either going to go to my sister or the label. it's going to be put on the internet. Has oh, yeah. Urban ever had? No. Me To We is just... um. 
PacSun. Mm. And Walgreens for a little bit. Yeah, for some reason. They did, like, home... Or not they home. They did, like, school supplies. Yeah. Yeah, it was, oh. like... It was, like, pencil pouches and stuff. It was weird. It was when I worked at Walgreens. It was, like, when we met. And I remember I think I just somehow, like, showed him a meet a wee thing from Walgreens or something. And he's, like, like the PacSun and brand. Like, and I was... PacSun. And I thought of it only as Walgreens. So I was, like... What? It was weird. And then I found this bag of Lenny wallet for my mom. So anyway, you, did, you did have an accessory. I did. I completely forgot about it until it literally just fell out of this bag. So going off of Ryan's anthro pajamas, weirdly enough, we found two bins like full of anthro pajamas. Thank God. Which is so weird. Like so I, nice. I said to Ryan, I was like, so who like was really into anthro pajamas? So much that they had like, multiple no. pairs. I wonder if they just got new ones. And then all at once was mm. like be yeah. gone with all of them. Rude. So this one is Lilka label, which a lot of the pajamas are like the older label. I don't think they've like got many new pajama labels. So like Lilka's usually the yeah. It's I think the tags have changed, Eloise's, but it's still the same brand. Yeah. These are small. These are cute. And these are really cute. Very like Eastern spring, like yes, printed I bohemian. Like My elastic's fine, so that's great. Yeah, yours is like that one that doesn't like flip. Like wide leg. Oh, kind there's of a like hole in them. Med medallion, medallion. Okay, there's a little hole in the back of the leg. Just right there. That's Which okay. I guess I'll probably just like stitch. It's sleepwear. So like yeah. no one's going to be looking at you. Like, and if they are, we have a problem. <laughs> if you are going out in that, I mean, to each their own. <laughs> Don't wear the jeans I guess I'll do I guess I'll do all my pajamas. So next up, this oh, is my favorite so pair, and I really hope there's not a hole these. in these because these are my favorite. These are also these are E by Eloise. Oh, I don't know. Extra small. <laughs> Once again, my elastic's fine. So they're really cute, like, cloud print. They're actually, like, textured. If oh, you look it's like Swiss Dot. Yes. And then at the bottom... They have little cities. There's a city. Do I know what city this is? Oh, my is? gosh. It's probably not a real city. No clue. But it's so it's cute. So and fun. the colors are really vibrant. With these, maybe these had just been washed enough that, like, a hole formed into them. But these ones seem a lot newer. Yeah. There's no spots or stains, even though they're white. And they're extra small. Yeah, these are so cute. I love those. See, but I didn't find a top with either of these. So I think maybe she just had a lot of, like, She just liked pants. comfortable pants. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just do my other pajamas, and then you can take my pajamas. Pajamas. <laughs> so I need to tie the arm or the the strap. The little shoulder strappy thing. But this is like a top. I guess that you could wear literally with the city pair or with your pair. You kind can of. wear with whatever. Yeah. And these are also E by Eloise. They have this really fun lace detail at the top, and here is the E. And these are also extra small. Those are super cute. These. Like, is it a pair this. of shorts or is it a no, top? No, it's a top. It's a top. I don't know why I keep that. saying these. It's like, huh? This was in the same bin, so I don't know if she wore <sighs> just like bralettes. Yes. The Galoon Racerback. I've is that this. what this is? Yes. Many I a time. will throw Ryan a bandeau from Free People Intimates, but I will keep <sighs> ones that are like actual bras. These are so good. So this is a small, intimately Free People. This would have been such a good Valentine's Day color. I know. It's like cotton candy. It's so cute. Then, my last pajama. Piyama. It's actually a set, and I did find the top and bottom to this. And I didn't know that this brand was Anthro, but as soon as I found the set, I was like, let me Probably. guess. Because it was in the same bin as everything else. I can see that. It is Nat by Natalie Martin. So I guess that's an Anthro brand. Is it Coral? Yes. And it gives me Agua yeah, vibes. It's super cute. This looks like that Agua Bandita Coralina, da -da -da. Coralina print. but da -da -da. A little floral set. Cute. So cute. Even though listing sets is not my favorite. But no, it's kind of a pain in the patootie. Next up for me, I was pumped to find this. And just like last time, this was sitting in a bin that everybody had gone through. It is an older Wilfred Free piece, which is from Aritzia. And it's just this really cute little denim. Like, overall, there's a few little spots on it. But I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I think this is super cute. And then it's just, like, shorts on the back. And what size is this, did I say? Medium. I've noticed with Aritzia pieces, like Wilfred and Wilfred, and Wilfred, Wilfred. Free, 
a lot of the ones that are like older pieces or older styles, like they've remade them. And yeah, so you can actually find fine. like the exact, like with the same style name, you can find like a newer model picture for it. Yes. Okay. So this is one of my swimsuits. I'm worried that I put the good one in the wash pile. So if yes, I might have to go get that. This is... Um, so <laughs> this... Okay. So I Googled this while I tie. Here's my story time. I Googled this and I'd heard of this brand before and I know that like I'd seen it at consignment stores. And I was like, oh, I recognize that tag. And I grabbed it thinking like, mm, yeah, it's something. Um, these are so expensive. And I constantly forget how expensive women's swimwear is. It has both of the little, the boob pads, which is a good thing. The brand is Becca mm. Swimwear. And I, these are like 198 to like $200. Wow. A $2 difference. It's insane. Yeah, getting into this kind of like terrifies me. It's like you could like strum... But it's really pretty. A guitar. A guitar. You can get a guitar. My guitar spray. My guitar spray. <laughs> um, it's new to the crotch is clean, which is a blessing. And it's this really nice, like, dark tie-dye. And they're so expensive. They're my so guitar, expensive. And spray. then there's one more Becca swimsuit. Ta-da. Didn't find the bottoms to this one, but it's just this really cute little, like, red and white polka dot. <gasps> like, she wore an itty bitty teeny weeny. Yellow. Polka dot bikini. Yellow. Oh, yellow. It gives me very, like, Daisy Duke or whatever. Yeah, I can see that. So I was like, ooh, good swimsuits. And then the other one is probably buried in here, if not... Oh, crap. Um, so this, I love these. And I know they have kind of, like, a cult following to them. It's the Uniqlo Packable Down stuff. So this is a size small. This is just, like, a little vest. But these are, like, kind of expensive in the store. And people just swear by them. People just love them. I have a friend that lives out in New York, and she probably goes through three a year. She wears through them so fast. Another example of you know the material by the sound. It's very nice. It's very it's nice. It's like high school windbreakers. Yes. <laughs> so here's my um, real real Otis and MacLean. Hmm. I had no idea what this is, but it was with all the expensive swimwear. So I thought it could be like a swim cover. It's just like a little t-shirt dress. Ultra suede. Yeah. So that, I'll go to the Rubo. Ultra suede is so soft. Ultra suede. Ultra okay. suede. Next up for me is a hat. A hat. And I actually got this to consign, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to sell it. We so go it's, in and just bring it's J. Crew, which a lot of J. Crew accessories I do consign, like scarves and stuff. Mm -hmm. But this one's cute. I was like, I've had a hat from J. Crew once. And, like, it did sell. And, like, people go on vacation. Mm -hmm. you know? Then we got two pair of Spanx Fannies. Fannies. <laughs> These are cute. Yeah, they're really cute. I, like, I could just, like, right away. I didn't see the Spanx label right away, but I just kind of was, like... Hmm. Mm, these seem like Spanx. And sure enough, they were Spanx. And they're both size medium. And I am going to sell these together. And they're clean. I, yes, they are. <laughs> Trust me, anything that physically touches the body, I make sure that... Do you want to hear a horror story? I got into the shoe bin I, today, and there was a jock strap, and I didn't see it, and I just grabbed it with both my hands. It was I awful. I hope that you bleached your Oh, I it instantly... Was just like, hand sanitizer? <laughs> Next up is actually more Spanx, These which really I get cute. pumped about at a consignment store or a thrift store, so then when it's at the bins, even more exciting. So these are size large. Especially these. And these are the faux leather um, seamless spank leggings. And there's just a couple little like spots that I just got to use like water to wipe off. We got a little feather or two on them. But otherwise they're fine. Yeah, there's just like a couple like little white spots that the bins sometimes cause. I just got to wipe them off. They literally just like scrape off. Yeah. It's just gunk. I am so excited. And they're size large, which so spanks is another thing. For some reason it's like always extra small or mm -hmm. small. So that's... Exciting. They're quite cute. Then we got Zoya. Zoya. <laughs> Which we all know how we feel about Zoya. I'll sell it, but yeah. Thank you. I saw comments saying that like Zaya has run its course, but I believe it. I have sold, I think, two pair of mine. Cross posted to Mercari, I will say. Mercari mm -hmm. always seems to be like a good like couple months behind. Oh, Hoshmark. we're talking like years. <laughs> and these are joggers, which is exciting because Zaya, I feel like I, well, I know I've only found leggings before mm -hmm. and I found them like three times, but now I have joggers. I just gotta like sweater shave the like leg rub area and lint roll them and they'll be fine and do these not even have a size zoya <gasps> they're size xl oh good what a good size. see those i feel like will probably do better and, and these they're are cute too. a really cute color yeah and they're like they are really nice and up, 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 these up. ones are really nice material the others i the leggings i'm like yeah chins these are nice though okay next up for me is another achizia piece this was literally right on top of the 
Um, it is Community, which is an Aritzia brand that I don't really ever see all that much. But this is just a really cute little, like, short sleeve, like, rolled sleeve, little purple knit cardigan. Super cute. Uh, size small. And then, oh, I was devastated that I didn't find both of these. So this is a pillowcase. Beautiful, like, gray floral linen. Absolutely adorable. Love it to death. And the brand, so I always like pillowcases because, like, Pottery Barn ones do good and, like, the PB Teen ones do good. And, like, I've had a couple of Anthropology ones. And this one is Restoration hardware which if you don't know we have one in minneapolis and it's this massive evil looking black store and it's just thousands and thousands of dollars in furniture it is astronomically expensive and i couldn't find the other one and what he then only buys one pillowcase it really looks like a haunted mansion yeah it does it's kind of scary like it looks like you'd look up at it and there'd be like lightning behind it like it striking. looks like the tower of terror yeah. at disney honestly and then this one i just thought this one was cute as well it's like a burlappy kind of material with this very nautical um little like woven tram this is definitely like somebody bought a lake which i don't trust her if she's only buying one pillowcase um and this one is not restoration hardware though i was very i was still excited to find it it is pottery barn a cute little like decorative like lake moment and then i have another sweater for somebody who was like i don't want to get many sweaters and coats i got a lot of sweaters and a puffer coat it's a vest, excuse you. Um, so this one has like a dry cleaner thing over it, so trust me. Uh, the brand is called Raga. R-A-G-A. So small. I have pretty decent luck with this brand. It's kind of expensive. And I think like some of the more substantial pieces tend to do a little bit better. So I think this will do really good. It's really cute. It has these like little... Woo! It has these little fringes on it. And it's really thick. Like it's really nice. Raga can be anthro. It's definitely not always. No. Um, but I've never tried a sweater or anything besides, like, a thin dress. I've had, like, the tank tops and the rompers. Never have I ever had a sweater. <laughs> Next up for me, I guess I'll take another turn because I think I have more than you. So. Yeah, <laughs> Which is I found not a common. lot for the consignment store. Usually. Most of this that I got is, like... Consignment store stuff. You always have more. This is a sports bra, and it's a brand I usually don't pick up, and that is Fabletics. Well, I usually pick it up, but to consign, I usually don't pick it up to sell. Mm -hmm. It also has these straps on the back that are, they say Fabletics, or they have Cute. the logo. But the reason I picked it up is because it is a bigger size, and I actually have not figured out what size it is because everyone always cuts out Fabletics. I get it. They're like a receipt. They're so but long. I think this is, I got an. It looks like an XL, so I'm pretty excited about that. Of course, I will measure it when I list it and figure out, based on the sizing chart, what it actually is. Then we have another sports bra, and this is low, low, low. Oh, did you find one of these? Yeah. I saw, I was mad, the woman that was next to me in the bin line um, found one, and it was in the bin that I had just been in, and I, I had missed just it. just been in that bin. I had just been in that bin, <laughs> and I missed it. Yeah, but this is just a nice padded oh, bra. sports bra. And, of course... Probably no size in it, so... They are real good at hiding these if sizes. If anyone is interested, you will have to check nonsense. my posh. It the looks, one that she said was an 8. This so I would like, say it's probably an 8. What do I know? I don't know, nothing about bras. Then I have another Lulu Lululemon. Oh, you found two. <laughs> yes. Didn't you find three? I found three. Yeah. I found three Lululemons. Lululemons. This is just a tank top. This is the first thing I found by Lulu. Cute. And it's the whole situation where the logo is like blending in. Because it's the it. same color. <laughs> but I was like, I know this is Lulu. And sure enough, it was. It seems like maybe a size four, if that's a size six. Seems tiny. Then I knew what this was right away because I think it is still in my closet right now. What is this it? is like a tribal, really cute blue print sweatshirt hoodie. Yeah. And this is by Ralph Lauren. This is cute. Yeah. And my other one has a lot of likes, so I was excited to get another. Is it the same color? Size medium. Yes. I it's thought literally you were the exact penalty. I was gonna beat you. No, it's literally the exact same thing. And I was watching a woman go through the bin and I was just like doing that internal prayer of like, don't don't take that. And sure enough, she like left without picking up. Baby clothes for Melinda, because cute. I have been picking up baby clothes for We Melinda. got a box. Let me just be Ryan and like flip this. It's almost like what was that thing in like school where you'd like <gasps> oh my god you get like a shoelace and tie it in the middle and you would like yeah. make it into like a finger trap like you'd have it like this and you'd like and then someone <gasps> oh would like god, put wait, their hand through it? and you could like pop it i just had a <laughs> i have honestly this, this not bra thought took about me those. somewhere i forgot that those existed do what are those called pieces? i don't remember we're not gonna do that right now but i like, need a piece of string just to do this i i just it took me somewhere i 
nostalgia. Oh my god, in. my mom knew all these tricks to do with that. I was like, here, Janet, let me do it. It was like thing. at the and time. She's like, don't be a simpleton. Yeah. She did so many cool things with it. That I was like, that's crazy. Okay. Anyway, Madewell. It's a Madewell bra. Madewell, thank you for bringing me back in time. And this is a size extra small. And it's really cute, like lace. It's very, like, free people airy esque. Very Madewell. This. I am pumped AF about. <laughs> so so this is a really adorable printed, kind of like Hawaiian spring tank top, kind of Y2K. Very Y2K. And this is actually Ralph Lauren. And it's actually Ralph Lauren black label. So this was like $300. Yeah, which yeah. means that this was maybe on a runway at some point and was... I hope so. I hope it was on, oh my gosh, if it was on like the 2006 runway, I would like... It probably was. Die. Honest to God. Size small. And normally I would send Ralph Lauren Black label into the real real, but I am 100% listing that She's myself. Sad. Okay, so I have in my cute little bien fat bag. That I threw back. Yeah. You must have picked up. I did because I'm going to put my bras in it. Um, So I found that orange made well bra. That he flipped. That I couldn't figure out how it goes. And then I found it in green. So I'm going to list them together as a set. They're the same size. Size small. I found the other one on Monday. And then I found this one today like right away we've so been, i like we've been having stuff like that happen a lot like like with all the lauren moshi and the ren and glory yeah we're like it's like we'll find one one day and then we'll find four more the next yeah. day i don't quite know which one. again my thoughts hmm. behind like i think they have palettes from different stores that they like move through throughout the week um so that's exciting and then this is a men's item it is a pair of bdg urban outfitters the skinny stretch jean in a size 30 30 just nice little like blue distressed jeans Nice. This is cute. I thought about taking this to the consignment store, but I think the style is such where this will do good by itself. Um, so it's new without tag. It has the little thingy. The brand is Misguided, which is definitely like one of those evil fast fashion companies. But this is just so cute. It's this really cute little puff dress. And it has like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, like shearing on the back. When I picked it up, I picked it up from the back and I was like, oh, this is gonna be something good. But it's so cute. I like it. Very, like, Love Shack fancy. Yeah. You know, I like, thought it was going to be, like, a, like an Aritzia or, like, a Wilfred moment. Or a Or, like, an Anthro or something. Um, it's a U.S. size 10, which I think is a large in their sizing, if I remember correctly. I was pumped to find that. Then I found a good old pair of cut-off Levi's jean shorts. As we move into the spring. These are a size 31. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna try them on. The one thing that I can never find is good jean shorts, but if I don't take them. So stay tuned to the end to find out if Ryan's jean shorts fit and what is the surprise swim brand that Ryan has I lost. I think, yeah. <laughs> it's in the washing machine. I'm, so, I'm not in the washing machine, it's in my to clean pile. It was dirty, I just wanted to like be safe. Well, well, you know, uh, yeah, freshen her up. Okay, so this is new to me and it's new with tags and it was in so to take to the consignment store i found a scotch and soda sweater i found another scotch and soda piece that was just absolutely stained so i left that one behind the restoration hardware and the pottery barn like literally it was all in this nice little stack so i was like this is something so the brand is flory day i literally never heard of it and it's this really 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 pretty like floral robe and it has this weird tie thing like i don't quite know how this works there's boobs or what happens but there's little like moths and it has these weird like openings in the bottom so i don't like really know what this is and jack threw me this and this brings me back i love this so back in the day i was the i was a billboard basically for american apparel that was the only thing i would wear for like three years. I absolutely loved it. I don't have any of it anymore, and I wish I did, especially this sweater. I had a cream fisherman's pullover, and if you ever find one in an extra large, just send me a bill. Whatever it is, I'll buy it. I love them. Um, so this is an American Apparel cropped fisherman's pullover in a size extra small, and this really cute little green color. I love these, and they're the nicest sweaters. I love them so much. Next up is Tiny Anthropology. Cute. And this is an extra small, as they always are. They're tiny tinies. Tiny tiny. <gasps> and this is a really cute, like, da -da -da. shirt front. And then, like, it's actually, like, a little more interesting than usual. Like, puffed printed sleeves. They are really cute. Top. And the back is printed, too. 
This is what like all tiny looks like, so I'm not surprised. Floral with t-shirt. <laughs> then this is like perfect timing for this. This is a Torrid size four, great size. And it is a lucky Clover, like St. Patrick's Day t-shirt. So that I honestly, so the t-shirts I'd probably usually consign, but that since it's such perfect timing, I'm going, going to. This season. Yes, then we have a vintage Crazy Horse Elizabeth Claiborne. That's who makes that? Yeah, skirt. I and this is that. size large. Yeah. And I think that this is really cute. So it's like a midi skirt. And I really like not only the print, but do you see the like double button detail that goes all the way down the front? And it's got a little like, yeah. I definitely don't skip vintage when it's really good, but I've been trying to be a lot more picky with it. So here is my new bolo, and it's a very good bolo. It's this is a brand that is sold at like Bloomingdale's, Bergdorf Goodman, like all those places. And it is called Cool, K-U-L-E. Not to be confused with K-U-H-L, the outdoor yes. brand. Yes. And they make like floral cutesy stuff. And this is a really adorable sweater. With these little Hawaiian flowers on yeah, it. Yeah, with like embroidered Hawaiian a little flowers. Hibiscus. And I'm very excited. I haven't done like research into this specific piece yet to know what it retailed for size medium it's quite cute then another bolo we've talked about it like probably once but if I you don't, don't think know, i've ever found it i've only found the j crew collab mm -hmm. which is also really good so get that if you see it too but the brand is hatch and this is a size zero and this is a do really... they only make maternity clothes i think so quite possibly i think so this is a corduroy, a blue corduroy, like midi peplum dress. How stinking cute is this? I know. Oh my god. I and we're going in a baby season. Yes. Oh my gosh. And hatch stuff is so expensive and it keeps its value like so well. I feel like most maternity clothes I see that aren't like ungodly expensive are just meh. So I get why they're so expensive. Next up for me is a Lululemon. This is nice. And this, yeah, yeah this is a really nice, like, athletic top. Does this one have a size tag? It, no. <laughs> it has, like, mesh panel going down the sleeves, if you can see that. And then the bottom is, like, drawstring. And it's mesh. Yes. And the logo is right there. And I don't know the size yet, but once again, maybe, like, a four or six. All of it seems kind of, like, four or 6 E. Next up for me is a cloth and stone for anthropology. This might look familiar because Ryan just found a chambray cloth and stone for anthro in the last one. But oh, mine is different. I <laughs> prefer mine, but <laughs> this has roughly uh, shoulders to it. It's and cute. once again, it's like a midi length and it's a sheath or shift dress, kind of like Ryan's was. And what size was it? Extra, Extra small. small. But it's definitely like- it's Just like mine. It's oversized. So first up for me, Jack threw this to me, and this is one of my <laughs> favorite Urban Outfitters collabs to sell. It is Alice, which I don't know who she is, at Urban Outfitters. It's not Alice and Olivia. No, and there's Alice a coat sitting right over there. That's the same brand that I haven't taken in the store yet. <laughs> um, and it's this really pretty, here, wait, hold on, how'd this go? little there it is like black dress it's really like drapey and very flowy and very romantic and very movable light and it has this really cute little um string detail in it and the only thing so this is going to my janet pile is there's a little like you're not gonna be able to see because it's black but the seam kind of came in down at the top and that sounds like a her problem she can fix that for me then i found is a janet problem. <laughs> it is a janet problem now this I was really excited to find. It's Eloquy, size 1416, which is a brand that I really don't find that much anymore, but I would like to. And it's this really cute, multicolored, like knit midi dress. Maxi dress? Midi dress? Depending mm -hmm. on how tall you are. It's really cute though. Um, so I found another one of those me to we, one of these. In noir. In black. These cute little socks that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, but I couldn't leave them behind. They have gnomes on. Give them to the Janet. Janet loves a gnome. <laughs> if you don't know my mother, the one thing about my mother is she is the white woman where everything is gnomes. Going to TJ Maxx. And they're and all seasoned. She has spring gnomes and summer gnomes and fall gnomes and winter gnomes. Anyway, this is a good little find. It is free people, size small. And this is a really cute little white sweater vest. And it has these big old chonky snaps. Snaps. Which means it's newer. That will do so good. Yeah, I think it's going to be super cute. I don't know if this is a vintage piece or if this is a newer piece. Either. I'd probably have to say, let's find out. I think newer. Um, so it's not newer because it's the older 
material tag, but we'll find out. And there's no OB. But it's exactly what's popular now, like boxy, oversized, like, like sweater vests you wear, over, vest. you wear over like a turtleneck, like a thinner turtleneck. Or and then I found this 128 gig memory card. Those are really expensive. Uh, all right, so I will wrap my <laughs> stuff up. This is a slightly longer one than Tuesday, but that's okay. And then we will let you go. I guess we did a little better than we expected. I looked like a hobo at the bins. I had this massive cart that I was just pushing around. <laughs> As everyone there has a massive card. Next up is Anthro. That's the newer by Anthro brand label. Size medium. So and this is a really adorable. How like, cottage core of you. Yes. Is yes. cottage core still a thing? This is so cute. This is, is very really like peasant style. Or peasant whatever. core. <laughs> yes. Then we have, oh, this is like the last thing I found. A Vince sweater. Extra small. The label's falling off. It's Ooh. just like a nice gray Longer cardigan. Oh, pockets. Nope, no pockets. It's just a ham. Just be sure to cross post your Vince to eBay. Yes. Then we have a vintage oh. like grandma crochet. It's like a little church lady cardigan. Little, yeah, like church lady floral cardigan. So this cute. is so adorable and it will go on Posh and Depop. Mm -hmm. I mean, and eBay. Bebop. Even the buttons have crochet around them. Another more basic torrid, so usually I would just consign it, but I think this is really cute too. And we're going into the season of tank tops. Yeah, size so. two torrid. And yeah, it's like boho meets tie-dye because it's got the embroidery and then the tie-dye. This would look cute with those jeans you found last yeah. time. <gasps> a little artsy. This I'm hat. so excited about. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really old label of Pendleton, a size medium. And I know because I think all of the old stuff says Portland. The Portland. all of the really old stuff says Portland. All of the old stuff says Oregon, and now it says U.S. I think, but this is Portland, hmm. Portland, Oregon. So is this like seven? So this is very old. This might be like fifty. I know or there's like all those vintage websites, thankfully, that have like the different labels and like the years. This is so nice. This is like a hundred percent wool jacket. Yeah, it's really. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This stuff does so good for me. That was dusty. So I'm actually, like, <laughs> really excited about... Here, especially. People love Pendleton. Then we got a Fjall Raven. If you remember that backpack from Tuesday, this is the same brand. And yeah, yes, they do make clothes, but, like, not much. But it's, like... So Konkin must be the backpack, and Fjall Raven is the brand. Does Konkin just mean backpack in, like, Dutch? Maybe. Woman's large. I'm just uncultured, <laughs> I guess. I just don't know any better. Then we have ACDC t-shirt. Don't know where it was from because they cut out like the store or brand label, but they kept in the ACDC label. Okay. Then we have an equipment blouse that I need to wash. It's got some like makeup marks. Extra small. And again, like chambray, perfect for spring. Oh, this is cute. It reminds me of the mom in Halloween Town. She always has that like chambray. <gasps> Gwen. Over it. And last but not least, probably what. Debbie. Probably what would be Debbie's absolute favorite thing I found. Quiet, girl. She's gonna hear. Her. Don't say anything to her. Do not DM her. I'm gonna take her Instagram link out. I will find you if you do that. It's Barefoot Dreams size medium and it's not only not a robe or anything but it's also not <laughs> just like black or gray it's purple it's striped and it's like a sh like a sweater it has a little metallic detail it is so it's cute. really cute and though. it's that same the like the uh, more the like light. micro the cozy chic mm -hmm. light or it's not as chunky so it's much more soft it's so sad it has so cute, cute little buttons on the side i can hear her running like this instant. All of a sudden the door is going to just burst open. Anyway, hey, this was a good little bits haul. I had a good time. It was, yeah. So we left like a little bit earlier than usual by like mm -hmm. an hour, but still definitely found enough. I could have stayed. If we're going to be going as frequently as we are, we probably cannot stay super, super long every time. No. Hi everybody. So quickly popping back in, I have my little, literally my little swimsuit. Just pulled her out of the dryer. She is oh. K to go. She is wonderfully clean. So the brand is Black Bow. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope so. There is. So I do thankfully have the bottoms and I have the tops. They're both a size small and these bad boys retail for about $45 to $60 for each piece. So this bikini top would be like $55 or $60. I just checked on the website and then the bottom would be like $45 to $50. So this is like easily over $100 in this small little bikini. So that was a, a very, very good find. And they sell for about 65 to like, some of the rare ones can go for like 150 if you have one that like a celebrity wore or one that's like sold out. So that was very exciting. 
And then unfortunately, the jean shorts do not fit me. They say size 31 in the back. I was a little hopeful, but also mm, a little skeptical. Uh, these are definitely a vintage size 31. I would probably say somewhere in the range of like a modern size 20, 829. So that's my little update. Anyways, we will see you guys on Saturday for What's on Saturday. <sighs> and next week, I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do. Probably hauls. Maybe hauls, because <laughs> like I said, we are going every Monday and mm -hmm. Wednesday. So let us know what you'd like to see. And if it is just a haul, you can let us know that as well. Let us also know what your favorite thing was that each of us found. And we will see you on Saturday. Goodbye. Bye.